Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Here's your Channels TV Evening News Recap for May the 9th, 2022. A federal high court in Abuja has refused to restrain the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the Attorney General of the Federation over the presidential ambition of CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele. The court also summoned INEC and the AGF to appear before it on May the 12th to show cause on why status quo antebellum should not be granted the CBN Governor. Meanwhile, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has extended its ongoing strike by 12 weeks. ASU says the extension is aimed at giving the government more time to satisfactorily resolve its issues. Following the latest announcement by ASU to extend its ongoing strike, students from the Bafemi Awolowo University, Ilepe, have called on the federal government to urgently address the incessant closure of schools. An APC presidential aspirant, Brasto Tunde Bakari, has promised to build a nation of peace, progress, prosperity and possibility if given the ticket to rule Nigeria. Pastor Bakari, who made his declaration to contest for the presidency on the platform of the All Progressives Congress Party today in Abuja, says he will bring back a Nigeria of our dreams where the military and police will be respected across Africa with special focus on national security. Today, I'm offering myself to close the distance between the Nigerian reality and every Nigerian dream. On the international scene, Vladimir Putin has told a huge military parade in Moscow's Red Square that Russian troops in eastern Ukraine are defending the motherland. He said the invasion of Ukraine, what he calls a special military operation, was necessary and had been provoked by the West. And in sports, Erling Haaland's summer move from Borussia Dortmund to Manchester City could be confirmed this week, according to multiple sources. And that's the evening news recap. Visit channelstv.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Ayo Tsunde Balogun, and thank you for watching.